Hi guys, Debbie here. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. Today I'm finally going to be playing with the Odin's Eye Over 2 palette. So this one here. It'll be its first outing on my channel. I must have owned it for about six months and just never gotten around to filming a video with it. It's one of the palettes in my palette pile of shame because I bought so many palettes last year and I just I'm waiting to have the time to create looks with them on camera for you. So I just never get around to playing with them, which is such a shame. So today is Monday evening, I never film on the weekdays in the evenings but I just really wanted to today and I had a bit of a vision for what I wanted to create. So if you're not aware of what the palette looks like, this is the, the beautiful colours in the palette. It is quite challenging though because you've got a row of greens and blues and then you've got the warm tones and Granted, you could just stick to the blues and greens and that would be fine and you could just stick to this side, but I really wanted to challenge myself to combine them and make a look that was cohesive, but using both the cool tones and the warm tones together. So this is the look that I came up with. I really love how it turned out. I've also used one of the Elva Fruit blushes and the Elva 2 highlight palette in this video. So if you want to see how I created this look, let's jump straight into the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so I've already done my base makeup off camera and my brows. I'll list everything in my description box that I've used. But I want to do blush and highlight together with you on camera because I want to use some items from Odin's Eye for that. So I'm going to go in with this flower blusher. This one's in the shade Sweet Tulip. It's quite a deep colour for me, but I think it will go with the, the look I'm planning to do. So we're going to start with applying that. So I'm going to place it quite high because when I'm using a colour that's as deep as this and a bit too deep for my skin tone I think that always helps we'll blend it out because it is looking a little bit too deep on me right now but I love a deep pigmented blush on myself and blush never lasts long on your skin I always think so the more the merrier with blush for me just gonna blend that out though just to kind of make it look a little bit more seamless I think that's looking okay. It's one of those blushes that's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but we are going to use a highlight as well. I'm gonna go in with the Elva 2 highlight palette. Whenever I've used this palette before, I've always used the shade Salamander, I think. And there's some beautiful shades in here. I want to use the blue, which is Undied. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but we're gonna use the blue one. It doesn't look as pigmented as some of the others. It's just gonna give us a a little bit of a sheen I think which I think will be perfect sometimes when you're using a blue highlighter you don't want a massive streak of blue on your face so sometimes it's good that it's a little bit more subtle but it's showing up nice and, and bright and pigmented but just quite transparent for a blue highlighter which I think is as I say a good thing and I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC soft oak paint pot And then from the palette, I'm going to start in my inner corner. I'm going to go in with this shade first, which is called Aquamarine. It's a beautiful pastel shade. It looks pretty pigmented for a pastel. Normally when I use pastel shades, they're going under a white or with a white base, but that's laying down quite nicely and pigmented as it is. My idea is to do a bit of a three colour crease for this look. I just want to do something a little bit different. The thing that stopped me using this palette is it's quite a, a difficult colour story to put together. I mean, you can stay in the blues and green zone, but I wanted to mix the warm and cool together and got to be a bit creative to make that work. I think I've got a plan, as I say. So I'm taking that above my natural crease line and I'm using a like a bullet pencil brush so that I can keep control of that shade and I'll just do a bit of blending once I've got everything placed. The next colour I want to go in with is this one which is Peach Juice. I think that's my favourite in the palette. It's really, really beautiful. Favourite matte anyway. Going in with a Morphe E36 and I'm going to place that next to the shade we've already laid down. I don't want to blend those together really. I'm just going to just place those next to them. I'll do a little bit of a fade between the two, but I don't want to muddy those colours up. I'm taking that about two thirds of the way across now. I've just got one third left for the 
last colour. I really do love Odin's eyeshadows. They don't have too much kick up. They're pretty pigmented. The pans are small, which I really appreciate because when you've got so much eyeshadow as I do, at least it's not wasteful. But you've got so many different colour options in the palette, which is so much better to my mind. Got a bit of fall down on my lid, but you won't see that when we're done. On the outer corner, I'm going to go in with the shade Coffee. I'm taking that in the outer corner. And I'm going to bring it down onto my lower lash line as well. Just going to work on just building that up and blending it into the peach juice shade in a moment. But I'm just kind of working on the shape right now. It might be easier to take it from the lower lash line and then up. Can just bring it onto my lid just a little bit in the outer V. Just back in with that peach juice shade just where I've kind of messed up there in the outer corner. Just going to be a case of going backwards and forwards with the peach juice shade and the coffee shade until I'm happy with the depth there. Not worrying too much about what's happening on my lids because I'm going to go in with shimmer set anyway. It's just trying to deepen up this outer corner. And I don't want to take it to too much of a winged out shape, just to kind of just up swept a little bit. And I'm not going to do wing liner today, guys. I'm still working on this blend between peach juice and coffee there. I'm a lot happier with how it's looking. I'm going to take a flexible but sort of long blending brush here and just blend above the shades I've already laid down. Next I'm going to go in with Nabla's Cupid Arrow Stylo number no. 3 and I'm going to put that in my waterline and onto my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Copper Red and I'm going to use that to blend out over the top of that pencil. I'm going to leave just a little bit of space there for another shimmer. Just for a little bit of added interest on this lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the shade Apricot and use that as a further blending out shade. I love the tone of that shade, it's really pretty. Still not quite sure I like what's going on here, so just going to work in a bit more of that peach juice just to see if I can try and get the blend a little bit better there. Blending's always a struggle for me. Colour combinations are not so much of a struggle, but blending is always a struggle. Yeah, I think that's looking better. Now I'm going in with NYX Glitter Primer all over my lids. I don't want to make this a cut crease though, so I'm just going to be quite haphazard with that. Taking that glitter primer up into my crease as well, just to help with the blending of the mattes and the shimmers when we get up there. For the shimmer I'm going to take Copper Red, then I'm going to go in with Deep Sea and then Forest Dream. So copper red's just going just in this outer part here. Don't want too much of that, but it's just going to help blend everything in in the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of deep sea and lay that next to that shade. I'm just going to work on smushing those two shimmers together on the lid. And where we've got into the crease here, I'm just going to just blend it a little bit into the crease. Next up, I'm going into Forest Dream. That's a very pretty colour. Using a bit more of that one than I did of the blue. And then for the inner part, I'm going to use Green Elves, this one here. It's an incredibly beautiful shimmer. It's got it's 
some glitzy particles in there, it's really, really stunning. Just creating a little bit of a blend between that one and the shade next to it, the Forest Dream shade. I love how that shade's looking, it's just so pretty. this little tiny section of the lower lash line I'm going to go in with the shade crystal and just pop that there it's not quite giving me the pop I wanted so I'm going to spray that there we go now I just want to work on getting this area blended a little bit between the mattes and the shimmer so I've got no product on the brush I'm just going to work on it until I've, as I say, kind of got a little bit of a blend there between those mats and shimmers. Okay guys, so that's the look to this point. Just going to hop off camera for the finishing touches. I'll be back with you with the finished look and to wrap up the video. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I finished it off with my Girl Bang Mascara but in the blue. I just like, added a, a little something, echoed that little bit of blue on the lids there. And then for lips today, I've gone in with Nablus Wild Berry, which I don't use nearly often enough. It's such a beautiful tone, and these are such lovely creamy lipsticks. Really like these. I've got, got this one and the one from the Platinum Collection as well. Highly recommended if they're still available. So yeah, I've had a lot of fun creating this, and I hope I've inspired you to kind of put together some of these tones that are really not easy to combine. You've just got to be careful that you don't blend too much together where they meet, but I've used a lot of the shades in here and really like the tones. I like that aquamarine one that's in my inner corners. That shimmer, that green else is just absolutely beautiful on the inner part of my lids. And I think, as I say, peach juice is my favorite matte in the palette. But yeah, I had a lot of fun creating this one. Just let me know, guys, do you want to see looks with the other two mini palettes that I've not done from the Elva 2 collection? I've not used the ocean or the sky and I own both of them so if you'd like to see that drop a comment and let me know but that's all for this video if you're new to my channel and you're not yet subscribed then please do that on your way out but other than that guys hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys <laughs>